Yo, what's up guys, PK Sparks here, and we got ourselves some brand new Pokemon leaks before the announcement next week. Was that bars? Was that, was that just bars I just spit? Probably not, it was just a really well placed rhyme, I don't have bars. Um, anyway, we got four new Pokemon, two Alolan forms, and the name of the antagonistic team, legit. Coral Coral coming through with the scans. Praise be to Sammy.net. So we're going to talk about these Pokemon, and I have a lot to say about them because, well, they're they are unique. I love them. They're the, the concept. I was laughing at it at first. Like we have a pre-evolution of Beware. We have a fish that kind of reminds me of Remoraid, and we have a Sandcastle. Yep. We have a sandcastle Pokemon, but wait until I get into the background on that thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, demolish the like button for me and tell me what you think about all these new Pokemon in the comment section below as we start talking about new new Nuiko Guma. Nuiko Guma. Now I'm assuming that these are the Japanese names. So when the video comes out next week and they actually tells us like all the information regarding these Pokemon and we get the American names and probably more information such as their abilities. Uh, anything in the background, a p potential move set or lure, then I'll be sure to do a follow-up video on these Pokemon. But for now, it is known as Neo Kogumo. Neo Kogumo. There you go. The pre-evolution of Beware. Still a normal fighting type. However, it's um, the Pokedex entry they gave us so far. I have a little Pokedex entry, but like a little information is that Neo Kogumo is very popular among women and children, but hates to be touched. Now, pause. Why, why, what is with humans? Why is it when something doesn't like to be touched, you want to do it more? When somebody tells you, hey, don't do this, it's like, oh, I'm going to do it even more now. Why do you always want to do the thing that people say not to do? If this Pokemon does not like to be touched, and it doesn't like being around people, then why the heck is it very popular among you? Just let it be. You have all these other cool Pokemon on this island, like, go hang out with a freak I, I don't know I don't get it like what was wrong with you go find us a land it and just go make it a pet put it in that side of the little glass thing actually no it's probably gonna melt the glass with that um, toxic poison of it is but still like just <laughs> I don't get it like there's so many other Pokemon you could get why do you want to bother a Pokemon that doesn't want to be touched but whatever but yes Neo Kaguma hates being touched and will kick and struggle to resist so how are you supposed to I mean I get I grant it if it's his trainer It'll probably let it pet it or something like that But if it goes to like a breeder like or you know somebody who wants to make a Pokemon look pretty then They'll be like nope screw you give me my trainer give him the brush let him do it I, I don't know but the fact that Neil Kaguma also has um Hercule uh, strength that's wild But it gets Herculean strength when it evolves into beware this Pokemon's attack stat is gonna be wild I feel like it's gonna be something along like um Ursaring where instead of Ursaring needing um, guts to get like insane amounts of boost. He'll just be naturally strong, like baby, like huge power. Yo, what if Neo Kaguma got huge power as a hidden ability, bro? <laughs> Yo, that'd be kind of wild. But I'm assuming that Neo Kaguma and his evolution beware will have high HP and high attack stat. Everything else will be pretty bare. Although Neo Kaguma has an ability that's pretty much like Fur Coat, which means that he's going to be getting that um, defense boost anyway. So he may be even better than Ursa Ring, or he may be RU compared to Ursa Ring's NU, or maybe you know NU to Ursa Ring's PU. Who knows? But um. Neo Kaguma is a Pokemon that's, it's okay, it's, I mean, it's just a pre-evolution. I'm glad that it does get a pre-evolution, because if Beware was the Pokemon that was just walking around in the forest, I would never go in there. I'm not trying to get hugged to death. Nah, son. Now, this next Pokemon is Yowashi. I love the name. It sounds very familiar, but I cannot put my finger on it. So, please, if you know the basis to this name, Yowashi, let me know in the comment section below. Because I know I know it. I know I know it. I just can't think of it right now, but I know I know it. But Yowashi is a water-type Pokemon, and we didn't get much information on it besides the fact that it has two forms. A single form and a school form. For those of you guys who may not know, uh, a group a group huge group of fish is called a school so a school of fish which means that there are many fish and that you're going to be battling with although it doesn't really turn into many fish it's more so, it more so looks like a torpedo so I'm assuming that I'm sorry a torpedo it more so looks like a submarine so I'm assuming that Yowashi is going to be using single Yowashis to fire as a torpedo attack 
I'm not sure how it's going to work. How do you even gather up a whole bunch of Yawashi and become a bigger version, but then fire other Yawashi as a torpedo? So I don't know how that will work, but it's the only thing that kind of makes sense with the design that they presented for us. Um, but it's a pure water type. We don't have much about it. I feel like it's not going to be much useful. It might be like the Finneon of this generation, but I mean, it looks cool. It, it looks cool. Not competitively, but the concept is nice. So yeah, Yawashi. Alright, so now we're talking about the Ghost Ground Sandcastle Pokemon. I first saw this and I'm like, why? Why, why do we have a sandcastle? I understand that you're being unique with these Pokemon. You, you're doing the thing, Game Freak. Alola is a unique, wonderful region. But a sandcastle? I mean, granted, we can't complain. We have muck. We have an oven in, in Rotom Heat. We have an um, electrode, a Pokeball. We have a pure magnet, like literally just a magnet. Um, so I can't really complain about them just going for a sandcastle. But I kind of like the idea behind it, but I still have to ask, why a sandcastle? Hear me out, hear me out. So this is what Sunaba and Shiro Desuna is all about. Sunaba is the pre-evolution of Shiro Desuna. Again, these are most likely Japanese names. We'll be getting the English names probably sometime next week, and I'll be doing a follow-up video on it. But Tsunaba is a ghost ground type, and it is a grudge that dwells inside a pile of sand. A grudge that dwells inside a pile of sand. So Tsunaba is, isn't even a full sand castle. It's literally just a pile of sand with like a bucket and a shovel shoved into it. I don't know if every Tsunaba is going to have this. Like maybe it's just for this design, but then different Tsunaba will have like, maybe one will have some rare item in it. Like when you catch it, it'll be like a metal detector. So, you know, stuff like that. Maybe, who knows? But it's a grudge. Now, it makes more sense when you look at his evolution, Shiro Desuna. Shiro Desuna, once again, is a ghost ground type, but hear me out. Shiro Desuna steals the life force from other Pokemon. So... Um, I, I don't know how this happens, but if you see a Shiro Desuna, do not battle it or your Pokemon just might die in front of you. Not faint, not get knocked out, not get put to sleep. No, it will die. Its HP will drop to zero without a full restore being able to use on it. No revive either. Nah, that's not how this works. Nah, son. But it steals the life force from another Pokemon. Now, the grudge that that Pokemon had, that had that had his life force stolen, if it held any sort of grudge towards anyone, anything, anybody, at life, at itself, that grudge turns into a new Tsunaba. So Shiro Desuna isn't even holding on to the grudge. Shiro Desuna is letting that grudge go. In the form of a Tsunaba. And then Tsunaba evolves into Shio Desuna and starts the cycle all over again. Holy crap! <laughs> Why? A sandcastle! I just want to know now that the concept is still decent. I love it. But why a sandcastle of all things? It's just, it's mind blowing. It's life draining, one might be able to say. It's, I, it's a decent concept. But I just can't pinpoint why you decided to put it into a sandcastle. Which means that this Pokemon had to have stolen a grudge or something that was, or, or it must, must have been like a wayward grudge. A wayward grudge of a dead Pokemon that went to the beach or died on the beach or something. Maybe it was like a concept of a Pokemon died in the water. And his trainer wasn't able to save it. But the Pokemon, instead of saying you tried your best, was more so, why didn't you save me? And so that Pokemon held on to that grudge and eventually manifested and took on new life as a Shiro Desuna. So, as is a Shiro Desuna, so it could, like, I don't know, maybe terrorize other children on the beach as a way to getting over its grudge? I don't know. Eventually, that Pokemon who died in the water because his trainer wasn't able to save it, Ended up letting that grudge go. It ended up getting over its sorrow. And it ended up letting the grudge go. And the grudge became a new Tsunaba. But then Tsunaba, you know, eventually is sitting around there. He vows into another shield of Tsuna. And then it's like, I'm hungry. And then it just goes steals the life force from another Pokemon. I, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm making up lore. I don't understand. I love it. 
but I don't understand it. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I just want to know more about Shiro Jasuda. Yo, these Pokemon in 7th Gen are so good. But let me know what you think about these two new Pokemon in the comment section below. That is everything I have to say about the new Pokemon in the Alola region. I will be uploading a video soon about Alolan Meowth and Alolan Marowax. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of Team Skull information in that video as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please demolish the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Comment in the comment section below. And most importantly, stay hot, guys. I'll see y'all next time.